Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another TV discussion video. Today we're going to be talking about The Office and a theory, speculation, or just a fun little way of interpreting this show that I've come up with and I'm sure a lot of you probably have thought in one way or another. Let's talk about why it makes sense. And look, I'm not going to be doing the major who was the Scranton Strangler theory that everyone kind of points to Toby or this person or that person. I mean, I think the real main ones there are Toby and Creed. No, this is something completely completely different. It is why The Office is actually a prequel to The Blacklist. And this really hinges on the fact that James Spader is in both of those shows. In season seven and eight of The Office, he appears as Robert California. And then Ray Reddington is his real name in The Blacklist. So how does this make sense? Why does this make sense? Are they the same character? Is The Office a prequel to The Blacklist? And should either of these series bring it up in one way or another, even if it's just a side joke or something like that? I think it would be fantastic, and I really think it wouldn't be too hard given what we know about Robert California and what we know about Ray Reddington and their storied lives, both of them. It would be easy to connect the two. So let me just reintroduce this. So Robert California was introduced at the very end of season Season 7 of The Office as a way of trying to figure out how to replace Michael Scott, Steve Carell's character that left the show around that time. And during his short tenure on the show, one of which I think is highly underrated because I love his character. I think it's completely different than anything that we had seen thus far, and it really kept the momentum going for at least another season. Season 9, you can debate on whether or not it was good, but I thought with Robert California, he made the show great up until the end. Like I said, there are some things that they would have to work out or just completely ignore if they were ever to connect these shows, but I love this idea. We do realize this in season eight's episode Turf War that he reveals to Andy that Robert California isn't even his real name. He has several aliases. Well, I will not be blackmailed by some ineffectual, privileged, effete, soft penis debutante. You want to start a street fight with me, bring it on, but you're going to be surprised by how ugly it gets. You don't even know my real name. I'm the Lizard King. And just the general idea that these two characters kind of talk in the same storied lives, kind of mysterious, different aliases, always something to talk about or bring up with some kind of idea of what happened in the past and how they were interacting with all these other people. I know you could just really point to the idea that this is the exact same character that James Spader has always played, and I could probably go into way more detail. I just wanted to get this out here. If you guys respond to this, if you guys want to hear more ways that this can connect, then I will do my research and I will be putting up amazing evidence for you guys because I have, at this point, watched The Office three times. I am currently on my fourth viewing, so it would be fantastic. Such a fun little experiment for me to when I get to the Robert California season, to go back and try to figure out all the little hints and clues that could tie him to Ray Reddington's character. I've also been needing to go back and catch up on The Blacklist. I have kind of fallen behind on that show, but it is also a phenomenal show in my opinion. If you do not watch it, please make sure to watch it. And really, the fun thing I think they can do here, I think The Blacklist is really kind of a too serious of a show to bring this up in one way or another, but I think it would be epic if they actually do this office reunion or office Christmas party movie special what have you that John Krasinski has been talking about recently that they would bring this up in some way shape or form that Robert California was actually this guy named Ray Reddington maybe everyone can just kind of wink and nod and be like you know we thought the Stranton Strangler was really the biggest thing that we ever came across but it was really this guy this guy is an international criminal somebody on the top of the most wanted list was helping the FBI and all this stuff happened in like the last couple of years and We've just kind of been sitting around thinking that nothing has ever happened in our lives and we've never really met anyone important. And the funny joke I think there would just kind of focus a little bit on Toby if they can get Toby into that scene. You know, he's sitting around, he's skulking around, and then he kind of leaves the room because if you guys remember from The Office's original run, they made such a big deal about the Stranton Strangler. And I think it would be really funny to both affirm that Ray Reddington was in fact Robert California and at the same time, with that little joke, you say that Toby was the Stranton Strangler. The final joke there is that even though he kept it hidden from everybody, it's no longer the talk of the town. That's not the most important thing of all these little people's lives that they've been living over the last couple of years. You know, the closest they've ever come to infamy and the biggest criminal that they've ever kind of experienced in their real
real life. I think that that would be fantastic. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Do you want to watch The Office and The Blacklist as if they're one and the same because Ray Reddington or Robert California, uh, James Spader is the same character or do you want to keep them separate? Tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Share this video out to all of your friends so they can share their thoughts and opinions on this as well. If you guys know any amazing facts that you, I should know about this theory, make sure to leave them in the comment section below as well. I'll catch you on the next video. It's been real.